everything you do, dig in. Here comes our second comedian. Uh, he is an LSU graduate and he is a CPA. By day, he makes his trade as a senior financial analyst for the Federal Reserve Bank of Atlanta. And by night, he takes the stage and tells jokes about being a financial analyst for the Federal Reserve Bank of Atlanta. <laughs> uh, sounds like he's found his audience. So let's bring him up. Give a big hand for David Mayer. And uh, I see we got a great crowd here tonight, and all of you came out to see accountants doing stand-up, huh? <laughs> and on a weeknight, huh? <laughs> yeah. You guys are party animals, I tell you. <laughs> yeah. You know it, huh? <laughs> but uh, I know, I'm really impressed. Um, but I got to tell you, as, a, as an accountant doing stand-up at the Center Stage Theater here, it's a, a little bit intimidating. But I had a speech coach tell me once that, you know, if you're ever on stage, just picture your audience naked, you know? <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that's what he said. <laughs> and, uh, but I got to tell you, it's not working. Can you put your clothes back on, please? <laughs> yeah, yeah, except for the blonde-haired lady on row five. You're good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know. This didn't uh, work out as planned here. Um, I just saw my boss naked. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's gonna get a little weird. <laughs> but let me try this, one, two, three. Oh yeah, okay, much better. Yeah. You guys can dress fast, huh? <laughs> you know? I tell you, I'd like to know who the genius is that came up with that idea, you know, that 800 naked people staring at the one person in the room with clothes on would be a calming effect, huh? Yeah. <laughs> It, it didn't work, it didn't work, I tell you. But I'll tell you what, what, what does help is, uh, is my wife, uh, you know. She's, um, she's the best, she's been supporting me all the way with this comedy competition, you know. In fact, she tells me every day now that I'm a joke. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah I, don't, I don't know what I'd do without her, you know. She's, uh, she's, my, she's my rock, you know. Uh, she's always <laughs> there for me. Uh, except tonight, it's Thursday, ladies bingo night, you know. <laughs> Yeah, I can't compete with that, huh? <laughs> yeah, but I tell you, I'm still glad to be here. It's a great uh, opportunity to support Junior Achievement and uh, my fellow accountants, my peeps, you know, because uh, I believe that we, I believe that, um, you know, us accountants are misunderstood and underappreciated, you know? With uh, all our schooling, continuing education and experience, accountants gain a great deal of knowledge and wisdom, you know? And uh, <laughs> for, exa for example, and they can distinguish between the two, knowledge and wisdom. For example, <laughs> for example um, there are five different depreciation methods to depreciate assets in gap accounting, right? <laughs> yeah? But that's knowledge. Wisdom is knowing that no one else gives a crap about that <laughs> stuff. You know, it's true. Whoa. <laughs> it's true, it's true. Not even my wife. I remember when I first started in accounting, I came home one night and my wife said, hey, honey, how did it go at the office today? And I said, oh, it was great. We developed some new amortiz amortization schedules to amortize our prepaid expense accounts. And, and she just, <laughs> yeah, she just uh, didn't do anything there. <laughs> She never asked again, <laughs> but uh, yeah, they never do. Yeah. <laughs> if you're an accountant, you're on your own, buddy, I tell you. <laughs> but you know, even with all this knowledge and wisdom, you know, what do they call us accountants, huh? Hmm? Bean counters, huh? You've heard that, huh? I tell you what, as a CPA, I'm a little offended by that. It took a lot of hard work and dedication to get that CPA license. All those years in college, grueling accounting courses, taking that CPA test five times, that was a lot of work. <laughs> what? No, it was a lot. Oh, oh, wait, I'm sorry. I did it again. I always mix those up. Sorry. It only took me two times to pass the CPA test. It took me five times to pass the urine test. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And that was all with the same company. Can you imagine how desperate, <laughs> imagine how desperate they were for accountants, huh? 
after the fifth urine test, he said, uh, welcome aboard, Mr. Mayor, happy to have you. Yeah. I, just, I, I just said, yeah, dude, I'm pretty stoked to be here, you know? <laughs> but, uh, but I, you know, I'm a... <laughs> But that's, uh, that's ancient history. I'm good now. I'm almost good anyway, but uh, I don't know. Lately, I've been just kind of careless and, and clumsy, you know. Like last week, I uh, stapled a report to my finger. Yeah. My finger and report were one, but I was lucky in this case because they wanted that report, you know, um, delivered by hand. <laughs> so, but I can't keep doing that, you know? I mean, my company takes this safety stuff real serious, you know? In fact, a little too serious. I got busted a couple of months ago for running in the hall with scissors in my hand. <laughs> and um, yeah, I told him I was just running a little late for a budget meeting to cut some cost, you know? But, <laughs> but uh, it didn't matter. It was my, uh, yeah, didn't matter. It was my second offense, you know? The, uh, the first offense, they gave me a warning. The second offense, they put me in the isolation queue, you know, they, under safety watch. And they felt to, it was necessary to segregate me from the general accounting population, you know. And uh, so while I was in that cube, they made me take 40 hours of safety training videos, and you know, or what I call nap time, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but, uh, but I got through it. I did my... Time, 30 days in the queue, they let me back out with the you know, general accounting inmates. And, I mean, staff, staff. But it was great to be uh, back with the gang again, though, I tell you. It, it was, uh, see some smiling faces. And, uh, but uh, it was a tough time in there, but I learned a valuable lesson in all of this. I, you know, I learned that ladies love the bad boy. <laughs> I tell you. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm telling you, Wendy and accounts payable is all over me now. <laughs> she's, she's, she, uh, she sent me a text the other day with a little heart emoji at the bottom, you know, and for accountants, that's like a walk on the wild side, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then Lisa in procurement, she made me this uh, CD mix special for me, you know, with, with uh, Wild Thing and Love Me Tender on it, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I tell you, it's getting a little crazy, but um, yeah. But you know, I got I got other things on my mind right now. I'm thinking about busting out of the joint, and and I think uh, when I got when I get out of here, I'm just gonna hop on my moped and just cruise up the coast, you know, <laughs> just go where the wind takes me, you know. Because when you're on a moped, the wind actually takes you, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You got, you got to go where the wind blows, you know? But I'm probably going to just end up in a small town, you know, on the coast maybe, and where I can relax and chill out for a while and maybe finish writing this book. You know, I've been working on a book for a while, and uh, it's called, um, I'm almost finished. It's, uh, it's called My Life as an Accountant, Decades of Debits and Credits. <laughs> yeah. It's an autobiography, and yeah. it's an autobiography in the nonfiction, non-adventure category. And, uh, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, I just got a publisher, you know, Last Chance Publishing scooped it right up, and, and, uh, in fact, they just got me my first endorsement yesterday, yeah, I think it was yesterday, yeah, they, uh, the National Foundation for Insomnia endorsed it, and they <laughs> said it was a, a great bedtime read and a possible cure. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you, but, you know... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but you know, I'm, I'm happy about that. There are millions of people with insomnia, so you know, and I'm I'm glad that I can help. You know. But I tell you, you know, when I first thought about trying out for this competition, you know, I thought it'd be a good idea to go to a comedy club and see what it's like because I had never been to one before. And so, I went with a friend of mine, and we had a great time. And as we're walking out. Uh, we saw one of the comedians by the door, and my friend walked over and he says, you made me laugh so hard I peed in my pants. And the comedian said, oh, thank you, I appreciate that. And I'm thinking, wow, what, what other profession is there where your clientele can come tell you they peed in their pants, and it's a good thing, you know? <laughs> yeah. 
I got comedians and dry cleaners. That's all I got, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and uh, I'm neither one. I'm an accountant, you know. So I would feel honored if I've helped just one of you pee in your pants tonight. <laughs> you know? Just one. Because my time's up. Thank you so much. Have a great night. I appreciate it. <laughs>